overflows. Enlightenment, your natural state. Enlightenment is a simple realization that everything is as it should be. Indeed, enlightenment is simply the process of becoming aware of your unconscious layers of personality and then dropping those layers. Existence knows nothing of time. It is always present here now. It has never been past or it will never be future. The moment you touch the reality of the present, this moment, the flower begins to blossom, to open its petal deep within you. You can call it anything, enlightenment, realization, being, or by any other name. But one thing is certain, it is never becoming. You cannot become enlightened. Either you are or you are not. Between the two, the distance is infinite. It is impossible to bridge that distance by any means. Those who have become enlightened have not achieved it because enlightenment is not an achievement, it is not a becoming. They have not invented it. It has nothing to do with imagination, intellect or mind. They have never found it because in the first place, you have never lost it. You are enlightened this very moment, but you are not aware of it. By asking the question, how long will it take to get enlightenment? You are asking a wrong, wrong question. And indeed, you are postponing the enlightenment this way. I am saying you are enlightened this very moment and you say this very moment but I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and we have just met. I am finding so many problems which have to be solved first. You postpone. This is what has been happening. The mysterious, the unknown, is all around. It is both without and within you. And the first thing is to experience it within yourself because that is the closest point. To say it in any other words, it is not right. You are enlightened if you do not desire anything. Enlightenment including a state of desirelessness. If you are simply silent and desireless, no longing, no future, just this very moment is enough unto itself. The rose, the petals begin, opens up its petals within you and you experience its fragrance and beauty. But Instead of looking into yourself, you are looking far away somewhere, maybe in Jerusalem, maybe in Kashi, maybe in Tibet, maybe somewhere else. Somewhere enlightenment must be existing. How long will it take to reach there? When you are already there, then where do you want to reach? This is my whole emphasis that you are already that which you want to be. You have never been other than that. It is impossible. It is an impossibility to be other than which you are. Enlightenment is a realization of the fact, an awakening and seeing the truth of one's being, its beauty, its immortality, its magnanimity. Thousands are the flowers that blossom in your being 
great is the music that goes home in your deepest silence of the heart you may be sitting unmoving but existence goes on dancing within your heart in every beat in every heart beat you can hear you can feel it is you that is beating that is pulse, pulsating nothing more can be said about it you do not have to go anywhere you do not have to do anything those are the strategies to keep you away from yourself an enlightened person's fragrance is revolution a rebellion as he does not follow any tradition but if you still follow tradition that as it happens in most of the cases then you are far away from enlightenment certainly this does not mean that he is against traditions are like dead corpses that have no meaning for him he writes a new script for himself to continue journeying along life's thoroughfare and with that transmits a perennial message that each person has to write his own script as he travels along the life's roads the message of an awakened one is the pulse of cosmos played on the harp of the soul the message of an awakened one is the pulse of cosmos played on the harp of his soul message creates groups in the deeper players of consciousness of the seekers as whispers of silence at first and then continues to echo along through the airs in the process of attaining fruition for this to happen witnessing is almost the finest fire you can find witness everything and that thing soon disappears whatsoever you witness it disappears never be afraid that beautiful spaces will disappear you do not know yet what is really waiting ahead of you when beautiful spaces and dispersive moments both have gone when that duality is no longer there a new horizon a new horizon like a vast open space is available to you you are not aware what is going to happen to you it is so profound and so deep then that those who have found it have remained silent yet is still for the sake of seekers they have to come out of their silence at times they will not say a single word about it there is no word in any language to express it or its magnanimity all those words beautiful blissful all fall short of expression and the greatest thing is that there is no duality that you have come to the point which remains with you always there is no opposite to it this is something to be remembered that whenever you experience something of which there is no opposite you have come you have arrived enlightenment is simple realization that everything is as it should be nothing needs to be improved upon added or deleted the only thing is this that you are not in agreement with all that is 
that has to be dropped the very definition of enlightenment is everything is as it should be everything is utterly perfect as it is that feeling that you are suddenly at home nothing is being missed you are part an organic part of this tremendous beautiful home you are relaxed in it surrendered in it you do not exist separately from this just as fish cannot remain cannot survive without the ocean fish and ocean are synonym water drop cannot drop merges in the ocean all separations conceivable imaginable are dissolved dissolved they exist no existence does not exist apart from you hence you cannot find it hence you cannot find it something which is your nature you remain oblivious of it you forget about it over the period of time if you want to be enlightened be enlightened one day i decided to be enlightened since then i have tried many times not to be enlightened it does not work that way the moment you decide i am a man you realize that i am a man you will always remain a man so just to alert you if you decide to be enlightened and you realize this very moment as this very moment as your enlightenment its silence its beauty its magnanimity then remember you cannot fall back from it there is no way enlightenment does not go in reverse gear you cannot say now for a few days i need to be on holidays from enlightenment 24 hours every moment every pulse of the heart beat you are enlightened enlightenment knows no holiday i have tried very hard not even in sleep will it leave you it leave me whether it is sleeping or doing the normal work the work for living or anything else there is something that i cannot forget it is like a pregnant woman once a change has taken place within her she cannot forget at all that she is not pregnant it is not a question of remembering that it is a question it is a matter that she cannot forget at any moment i have you cannot see that i am going for a holiday for a few days enlightenment knows no holiday i have tried very hard several times not even sleep it will leave me but who wants to leave it once you have experienced something of magnanimity who wants to leave who wants to be other than enlightenment who wants to be other than enlightenment who wants to be other than blissful enough but now this process of enlightenment will continue where i'll take various aspects of enlightenment enough